Hello everyone, I'm Dragon Woman, and welcome back to Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. When we last left off, we got utterly slaughtered. I mean slaughtered by Lady Butterfly. So today, I'm going to show you a little bit of how I uh, I do a little bit of the farming technique. Usually it's it revolves around staying near a resting idol, or sculptor's idol. Uh, since I found this place right outside Lady Butterfly's, you know, arena, arena, I've, uh, I've, you know, I just started using this place over and over and over again. It's really, really close. Takes about 10, 15 seconds, if that. Come over here, you rest. You don't have to worry about, you know, using your gourd or anything. And if you do have to use your gourd, you're right there near... This is the sculptor's idol, just, just to, you know, you can refill it. So, like, if you had to use it because this guy beat you up, then you, uh, come back over here, you rest, it's back to full, and those guys, uh, respawn. So, it's just, just as simple as that. We rinse, repeat, what rinse, repeat, Let's come over here, kill these two guys. These guys are worth 34 experience apiece, so it's, it's, it's a lot better than a lot of the other enemies around uh yes it takes a while i mean i've already grind out level two um and we're we're almost we get like what 68 i did my math right 68 experience both of these guys over and over and over and over and over again uh we'll eventually hit rank uh level four and i've already decided what i was going to get once we get the level four we're going to get the emma's potency uh emma's medicine potency uh it is only four levels so it's going to be something uh because we're not going to be death blowing too much in the lady butterfly fight we're going to need as much health as we can get going into the fight or as much help like uh because we won't like i said we won't be death blowing so there's no point in getting breath of life light uh at this point in time we will get it eventually because there's a lot of a lot of creatures i mean I'm, I'm not even probably scratched the surface of this game and i think uh lady butterfly is like the first true true boss fight there's like you got mini bosses and you got like really true bosses and i think she's one of the first true bosses that we we come across so getting getting that eventually i will i will probably you know grind up in the next area uh off camera of course because i don't want to i don't want to bore everybody but we'll we'll grind up next off camera and then uh we'll uh we'll do our best we'll do our best to uh to get uh, the breath of light life breath of life light oh wow if i can talk so as you can see with me just sitting here rambling on for the past you know two and a half three or five minutes uh we're almost level four yeah this this will get us level four so what we can do now that we've got level four i mean it's also a good way to get money too it's also a good money good way to get money especially if you pop some of your balloons you pop a lot of your uh your, your money balloons and things of that nature it works out great so i want to grab <clears throat> Emma's medicine potency. Yes, I want to grab it. There we go. And then we can also get Emma's aroma. Well, that, that's what it unlocked. Emma's medicine aroma increases the healing effects of recovery items. Again, that's level five. That that's might be something worth uh, grinding out and doing more of. Oop! I I just sat down. I didn't I didn't rest. And I think, I think of all the spots, there may be a better spot than this that we could go to, but I think of all the spots, this is a really good spot to, to farm and grind and things. And don't think the, the, the fact that we're grinding as a way of cheating, the game is meant for you to grind and, and, and do this type of stuff. Because the, you're not going to have everything... You know if, especially if you're dying a lot your your experience you know gets halved if not more when you die so you don't you don't want to you don't want to do that so that's that's why the, the game puts these types of areas in the game i mean and look look just just for the few like we just spent all of our points and just within a few a few seconds we're already half a half level away again from another level these guys were worth so much 
and then like i said you can you can go into your inventory and you can pop let's see what is it the balloons uh the balloon of wealth to get more money uh the balloon of possession which um let's see what is this one splashes a higher chance of obtaining items and then this one gives us uh a, well that balloon gives us another way of getting more uh Oh, what is it? Re resurrection. Yes, getting more resurrection. But uh, yeah, if you get to, you get to the point where you see that you're getting a lot of money and you need to go and and you know dump your money somewhere and buying coin purses, there are a few stores. I mean, there are a few stores that we have access to at this point in time. Uh, so you can always go and get the coin purses from them. I don't know if their shops refill because I know the guy, the main guy that I use. He uh he's out of out of was it life seeds or the the potency seeds? What are these? The pellets. The the regeneration pellets. I know he's out of those. But I don't know if, if his shop like regenerates, depending on how far in the game. I guess it regenerates as far as you know, going into the game deeper. Oh jeez. See, I got hit just a touch. I just got hit just a touch. It, it's random, but you know, you always come back, you rest, and you're good. So give me just a few minutes, and uh, I'm going to, to keep doing this for another maybe 10 or 15 iterations. Try to get a couple more levels. And we can see exactly what else. I mean, I guess we can look now to see what, what we would potentially want. Uh, suppressed sound's not gonna help us. Uh, air, air combat arts, I don't know if that's gonna help us. The Karma Shinobi, that might help us. Uh, that's exact, you know, Breath of Life, Light is what we were talking about earlier. Uh, let's see, what else do we have here? Uh, Nightjar Slash. Spinning attack that, uh, quickly, uh, creates or Close or close or create distance from foes. Uh, we can get Fang and Blade. Uh, after using a, a prosthetic tool, move to a. Okay, that would work. Midair prosthetic tools. Uh, we can also get the potency. So that we're we're limited to what we can get at the moment, but it's not that bad. It's not nearly as bad as one would think. Vault over. Uh, suppression. Like I said. I may not even need any of this. We may, I may forego this to do this, just, you know, farm off camera. So with that being said, with that being said, we're half level. We've got uh, 113 or a thousand. So let's travel to, let's see, where is the shop? Yeah, this guy, this place. Let's see if the shop, the guy that I go to has any more coin purses that we can purchase. Cause if you remember, we, um, we bought the the thing that he had, which was three thousand, which I still haven't been able to find. The the but lady butterfly fangs, I haven't still haven't found those. How to implement them or in, incorporate them into my shinobi tool? I think it may be just a uh, thing that just happens. I may have to do some research in this. I'm trying my best not to look up anything about this game, uh, for the simple fact is I don't want to spoil myself. But uh, I, this may be one of those things. Thanks for your business. Go on. Purchase. Okay, he's out of coin purses. Okay, there's he's out of coin. Until next time, what do? Please tell me what. Okay, so there is one other shop that I have not been to in this on this uh this character. Uh, this save file, I should say. And there's another guy that lives over here. So we'll go over here. I can't grab a hold of that. Okay, we're gonna have to go over here. Go up this way. Yeah, there's another guy over this direction. He's on the top of a mountain. Which I happened to find by mistake in another one of my saves. Uh, because this game is too cool not to, uh, not to play just on one save file I've, I've done multiples to see you know how well i could get different things and and, and whatever and yada yada hit him uh, by the way before 
the area that I used before for farming and things was this area here. I would come, you know, take out that cannoneer guy up there. I'd jump down at this guy that we, we got over here. Like this guy here, this guy, I would death blow that guy. Kill these two guys. Take out this guy. And then, you know, I would just go back, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. Because these guys are worth 21. Still not bad, but still not the best either. Uh, but I need to find a way... Alright, are you sh Where are you at? Oh, there you are. Alright. I need to find a way... I can't remember how I got up there on my other save file. I know there's a grapple point in one of these places. Grab it from here. The grapple point there. Uh, is that it? I can't remember. Go up here. Go up here. Not that one. Yeah, maybe it is. Yeah, here it is. There's a shop up here. That I have not been to on this guy, so... Care to purchase an offering? An offering? Indeed. I sell items to be offered to the dead, so they might rest in peace. From the looks of you, I'd wager you know a thing or two about death. Mm. Go ahead. Buy an offering. Okay. See, this guy's got pelt. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much. I'll buy all your pellets. Uh, yeah, I, I know I exceeded the maximum. Antidote powder. He, he does Angoro sugar. He's also got coin purses, which I'm going to buy. Uh, he's also got Robert's firecrackers. Which, uh, firecrackers come across the southern seas. This can be fitted into the Shinobi prosthetic tool to, uh, to become a prosthetic, or Shinobi prosthetic to become a pr prosthetic tool. Makes a deafening sound, frightens, and, uh, frightening to animals sold by Robert and his father to raise funds for their travels. Their voyage brought them to Japan where they seek the undying and attempt to extend Robert's life. So this is one thing, uh, I wish I could have found before. We fought the big giant guy because uh, I learned that these the firecrackers are, are fire and they um, they they do have a, an effect on the giant so and I'm just gonna just spend it's like we've still got a lot of money left I'm just gonna spend as all my money that I can and get some you know put it in item form basically Anything around here you'll scare the crows they're very intelligent Leaps and bounds smarter than other animals. Cruelty won't be tolerated. No, don't worry. I'm not going to use it here. All right, so this might be an easier way to get up this guy. Might be able to... Oh, okay, that doesn't work. But you'll you just, just maneuver your way around the edge over here. That's how I got up there. Get over here. This, this little hook here. So if you're if you're down there, you're right here next to the the gateway, next to the lady. That's the lady that gave you the uh, the bell, Buddha's bell. It's just right here. If you're if you're actually looking and needing some tips on that, and then you just jump up a couple of uh, rock faces, and then jump up there, and then he's right here. So this is awesome. This is awesome. So we do we now have another prosthetic tool that we can equip into our thing. It's not it's not, you know, as powerful as one we we've already gotten. I mean, the um I want to say the flame vent is a direct upgrade to the firecrackers. I could be wrong with that. That is just my assumption on that. I think it, it is a, a direct upgrade. But, uh, you know, to each their own, and everybody may think it'd be different, so. Take out these guys before we head back. Because I do want to try, I do want to try to take on Lady Butterfly one more time. 
uh, before I end this episode. There we go. And these guys here are only worth like 21 experience. That's why I decided to move onwards and use that area we used just a few minutes ago. Because it is a lot better because their guys are worth 34 experience. Yes, there's only two of them, but you it's so close to an idol. It's ridiculous. Okay, so without further ado, uh, let's go back to Harata Estate. Go back to the audience chamber. Get prepared. Make sure we have everything that we want equipped. Which I could technically go to the Shinobi, uh, or the Sculptor, sorry. We could go back to the Sculptor. Technically put our firecrackers on, but I don't think firecrackers are going to do anything for us. Um... Let's see, we've got the flame vent, red eyes. We might equip that, or we might do the loaded axe on her. Uh, we've got full full pellets and full gourd. Not to mention, we've got the, the increased potency. So, hopefully this is a lot better. Hopefully this is a lot better than when, when we came in here last time. Because we we just got utterly destroyed last time so here we go let's try it again lady butterfly round two and I'm already having to use my my thing Oh, jeez. Ah, okay. The one thing that I did learn about this fight is that you can use these pillars to your advantage. And make sure you, you block. Doing some dodges and stuff. And when she does that, you want to attack her. Because that's when, when you can do the most damage to her health. So you dodge. And do that. I, I, I've kind of, like, did this fight multiple times already. And I... Oh, jeez. Let's, uh, let's use a pellet. There we go. Oh, jeez. There's, there are a few times where you can get like a couple of hits in on her. When she does her abilities like that, you can get a couple of hits in on her. But you gotta make sure you do as much damage to her health. This And this is basically a waiting game. It is basically a waiting game. You wanna, you know, do as much damage as you can. Let me, let me heal up before I go back in there. Oh, we're out of... Ow. Do one hit. Ow. Yeah, I'm probably gonna die. But I kinda got the pattern of the fight down. I'm just taking some really stupid damage. Just gonna do that, you dodge, and then you come in for a strike, which I missed. I hit her. All right, I got one more pellet. I need to eat. Whew. I will say though, she does a massive amounts of damage. Does massive amounts of damage. Ow.
go. Get her health down. Ow! Well, I've got to resurrect. Come on, Lady Butterfly. There we go. There's two hits. Dodge. Oh, she got me. Oh, no. And that's an instant death from me. Oh, I tried. I tried. So what I think I might do is I might, you know, I, I, this is, this is so, I've died like five or six times to her already, which is crazy because she's so hard. I think I get so close to getting her, get her to like half health, like where we did, where we just did, get her to half health and then, oh no, Drexy, yeah, my, my dragon, my dragon rot has started. But I did get in unseen aid, so I didn't lose as much. Well, well, that's good. That's good. So that's that's the, basically the fight. I'm thinking what now? What I need to do is I just need to go through here and see if there's any any other skills uh, that I might need. Uh, I mean, we are limited, very very limited to what skills we can use. There may be just a different tactic I need. Uh, I could probably potentially farm up to get Emma's medicine aroma, so that way we can uh, get our medicines to do the most for us. Um, and I don't know if like projected force or anything like that would be something that I need to get. But like I said, we only got two trees to work with now, and I'm not sure which one, uh, which like tree or anything that I need specifically just like the the guy the hunter guy with the big spear back there uh that was in the white we killed earlier uh you know he he's basically one of those things like if you don't have Mercury counter it's going to be tough so a lot of times when you're having issues and troubles with with fights I have learned that there may be in a shinobi art that you're missing or that you haven't gotten yet that, uh, that can potentially help you in the future. I don't know if like midair deflect is going to help us with that, but um, but there, there's just something that we're missing and I, I don't know what it is. So hopefully you all out there know what's missing. If you do, please, by all means, let me know if you know a little easier way to, to take care of that boss. That boss, that, you know, it's basically like uh, uh, if you don't have the skills, apparently, and I don't, I, I, I can't I say I can't I don't have the skills but like there's something here that's gonna make her easier and if you know please by all means let me know so that way I can pass that along to other people who are may may be having issues and uh, you know we all can learn from everybody uh, so yeah so but other than that though thank everybody so much for watching if you did enjoy the episode please do remember to give it a big thumbs up if you have any comments questions or concerns or any tips tricks or anything that you would like me to do in this game in the future as far as you know something that i need to farm for or something that i need to, to work towards please by all means use that comment section down below i'd love to hear from you and we could potentially like i said we could potentially all learn from one another and uh hopefully hopefully be able to, uh, to, to to be able to take down this butterfly i'm gonna have to do some more farming extensively i probably am gonna go crazy and farm all the trees so anyway other than that thank you everybody again so much for watching and until next time see you later